Welcome to Would I Lie to You, the show with tall tales and tantalising truths. On Lemax team tonight, an actor and comedian who's donating a thousand free tickets to his tour for NHS workers. Haven't those poor doctors and nurses suffered enough? It's Johnny <laughs> Vegas. And uh, she played a fearsome detective in Line of Duty, so if she catches you lying tonight, you can expect to accidentally fall down the stairs. It's Anna Maxwell-Martin. <laughs> and on David Mitchell's scene tonight, a journalist who helps people save money. So he'll be delighted to know that instead of paying him for tonight, we've put his fee into a high-yield ISA. It's Martin Lewis. <laughs> And she's beautiful and talented, like most people who come from Wales. It's Alex Jones. <laughs> we begin with round one, Home Truths, where our panellists read out a statement from the card in front of them. Now, to make things harder, they've never seen the card before, they've no idea what they'll be faced with. It's up to the opposing team to sort the fact from the fiction. And, Alex, you're first tonight. Oh, OK. I once got the giggles on the one show when I accidentally destroyed a priceless historical artefact. Please do. <laughs> what was the priceless historical artefact? It was a letter. Which letter? There's 26 to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> a written letter. Uh, so who was the letter to and from? To, um, some soldiers from King George. How did you destroy it? Mm. So, um, I was going through a little phase uh, where... Ah, was it that phase? <laughs> <laughs> it was that phase, phase, but it wasn't that phase. Right. Um, it was a phase where I was drinking green tea. So, I had a pint of green tea. A pint? A pint. <laughs> Proper old-school Welsh. Doesn't matter what it is, it has to be in a pint. <laughs> <laughs> where were you hiding it on the set? It was rehearsal. Yeah, but so no you... need to hide. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've seen the one show and you rehearse that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. So basically the pint of green tea spilt all over the letter and because obviously letters back in the day were written by, you know, quills and ink, <laughs> <laughs> the green tea fell on the letter and all the writing fell off. And fell off? The writing <laughs> fell off. Well, it slipped off. Well, it, it didn't slip off. off. It didn't <laughs> slip off. Well, it did. So what happened then? Um, so the, the people from the museum who'd mm. brought in the artefacts, the glove wearers, they start basically crying because They it's... cried? Yeah, because it's a priceless letter. They were getting angry, and the more angry they got, the funnier I thought it was. You laughed. Well, I've got that thing, you know, when things happen, I mean, I find it really funny. You know when you're not supposed to laugh? <laughs> I think there's a name for it. It's called yeah. something. Shh. Yes, insensitivity. <laughs> All right. What do we think? I think it's an out-and-out -out line. I don't think you'd laugh. And if letters fell off a page, I think you were just fantasising over Harry Potter. <laughs> Anna, what about you? I'm going to say it's a lie. I, I think it's true, because mm -hmm. I think she screams incompetence. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with my team and say, say it's a lie. lie. OK, so, Alex, they've said it's a lie. Was it the truth or was it a lie? It's, in fact, true. <laughs> yes, it's true. Alex did destroy a priceless historical artefact. Uh, Johnny, you're next on the show tonight. It's your turn. <laughs> Possession. Right. Yeah. There's a box on the floor just underneath the desk. Put the item on the desk and then read the card, please. Out loud. <laughs> this is my roller. I regularly use it to clean my back in the shower. Would you yeah. hold it up for us, Johnny, so we can see yeah. it? Everybody can have a nice look at it. It's, it, a, it's what I'd call a paint roller. Too. I'll show you how yeah. and why I use it. Yeah, go yeah. on. Give I, us a I, demonstration. Yes. Um, I once had, genuinely, an issue with a loofah, and I tripped, yeah. and I looked like one of them liars in A&E. &E. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> right, you've got the extendable... You fix that in. 
Do your lower back. Mm -hmm. You know they can't see that, don't you, Johnny? Oh, sorry. Right, there. <laughs> <laughs> so you do this. Yeah, yeah, that's... Right. I only ever go to there with it. <laughs> but it, it properly gets over, and then if you want to get in rough, you put it shorter, screw it in, and you just get in hard. <laughs> Are you soaping it up beforehand, or are you just, just using no, the water? No, do, do you know what? One little bit of shampoo on that... And that'll do you? ..does yeah. your head to toe. Yeah. Look, all my family came from traditional working backgrounds, and there's something about being in the shower with this going, ..working in a gold mine! <laughs> 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 Johnny? Yeah! <laughs> Where do you keep that in your shower and do you take it out or have you got a hook? I put it in a separate cupboard because if you have guests around, you don't want to feel like they have to use it. <laughs> <laughs> how did you discover it? I looked at it and I went, I love how it works on walls. What could it do to my body? <laughs> and I saw it and I thought, it's my time. It's my, hey, hello, you. Give yourself a chance to remind yourself you're lovely. <laughs> Martin, what, what are you thinking? I can see him in the shower... Yes. ..naked, using that thing. <laughs> and, and that'll fade over time. I've also got a vision now. Thanks yeah. for that. I don't know if it's true or but, not, but no. what I will say about it is, is I think it's a good idea. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I would be very tempted okay. to give it a try. I, th I think that would be quite a pleasing sensation. Not as pleasing as putting the soap in the black tray and doing that first. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so um, what are you going to say? Uh, I think... Should we go? We'll go with it. We're going to say it's true. true. true yeah. It was. It was very convincing. Yeah. OK, Johnny, they think it's true. Were you telling the truth or were you actually telling us a lie? Of course, I was telling... <laughs> a lie. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yes, it's a lie. Johnny doesn't use a roller to wash his back. OK, uh, Martin, you're next. Thank you. Once, after misreading a sign, it took me two hours to get out of a supermarket car park. Least oh. Which supermarket? Um, it was Tesco, as it happens. Sainsbury's, Waitrose. <laughs> wow, you really were lost. <laughs> so talk us through what happened. I actually got the van stuck in the entrance to the car oh, park. Oh, yeah. So you weren't lost. I you wasn't lost. Stuck. It was stuck. Wedged. So you, you took wedged. a wrong turning and then you got it wedged into the ceiling. Wasn't a wrong turning. He said he misread I a misread sign. I misread a sign. What did the sign say? The sign said maximum height six foot. Right. Uh... And I, because the sign wasn't at six foot high, the sign was like 12 foot, and they, even though it said maximum height six foot, I just saw it and oh, thought, oh, that I must see. be the maximum yes. height. And so I drove the van in and it's just getting stuck and more stuck. So you're, you're wedged. Wedged. What happens? So the, the first idea I had was to deflate the tyres. Didn't work. But hang on, there's actually you... a Winnie the Pooh story about this. <laughs> <laughs> I know what Winnie the Pooh did, but I'm not sure it would work on a van. <laughs> How did you get yourself out of this? So I went into the supermarket. And Just got... bought loads of butter! <laughs> baked beans. Baked beans. No, you... I got them to get no, a forklift truck and bring out loads of crates of baked beans. Yeah. And, f put... and fart it out. Put... <laughs> put that in the back of the van, got loads of the wait guys it. who work there as well to stand in the back of the van to weight it down and reversed it out. This okay. might end up on the theory test. How many baked beans does it take to reverse? <laughs> Here's a question. Did it have a ticket barrier? No. End of questions. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what are you going to say, Lee? Is he telling the truth or is he lying? Anna? I think Martin was doing a very uh, sophisticated bluff, so I'm going to say true. I don't believe you. You think it's a lie? I think it's a lie. All right, we'll, we'll go with that. Lie. Lee, truth and lie. Uh, I'll say true. You're going to say you think it's true? I think true. it's true. Martin, was it true or was it a lie? It's true. <laughs> 
Our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. This week, each of Lee's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest. It's up to David's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Johnny. <laughs> Um, Johnny, what is Johnny to you? Uh, this is Johnny, and we once pretended to be members of Take That to get backstage at a gig. <laughs> right. Johnny's boy band buddy, Anna. How do you know Johnny? This is Johnny, and it's my fault that he had to climb a mountain twice in one day. Right. <laughs> Anna's unhappy hiker. And finally, Lee, your relationship with Johnny. This is Johnny. At school, we both fell victim to Brian Pimento's infamous biscuit con. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. David, where would you like to begin? Johnny, what did you do with him? You snuck backstage? Well, we didn't sneak. Yeah. What we did is we convinced an ignorant promoter in the early days of Take That yeah. that we were Take That. <laughs> and we didn't only snuck backstage, we wanted to go on as Take That. Did you And go you on? said that you were actually <clears throat> in the band? We said that we were the band. <laughs> we were at a local county show and we decided it would be a good idea. Take That had just released It Only Takes a Minute Girl. So Which is an unusual brag. <laughs> 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 and they were that well known, so they booked them cheap and we, we decided to just ch chance our arm and pretend that we were them. And which so particular member, cos I'm struggling here to, to think <laughs> who it would be? This was a stroke of genius. Um, Johnny told them that, like, every boy band needs one that's, like, everyone thinks they stand a chance with, and that was me. <laughs> <laughs> you always need one in the band that you think, yeah, I could. Yeah. <laughs> and, that, and that, Rob, is why we have you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. So, so where was this? At a, a big show. Well, a, a big show? That's not very specific. Oh, um, you said it was at a county no, show, no, so no. I know, yeah. Yeah, right. I'm imagining it's a lot of livestock <laughs> being sold yeah. and displayed. But it, what... it wasn't that far. Right. Because before we were judged to go on stage, they just judged the best rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally imagine a kind of event where early in the evening they judge the best rabbit and then take that comes on. <laughs> just in case not everyone can picture it, can we have some details? It was St Helens. Um, right. What, what right. county is St Helens in? Merseyside. And yet with the Cheshire postcode, sort that out. <laughs> When was, was this, It was a big show. It was a big show. Johnny, what happened? Did you get up onto stage? No, what we did <laughs> is we turned up and announced ourselves as Take That. Yes, but there's only two of He you. was better looking yeah. at the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, marriage and a, running a pub hadn't ravaged him. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we turned up and just announced that we were Take That. And how far did you get with it? We got backstage. They were running late, so we were going to go on as take that. <laughs> right. And uh, there was only one guy who, outside of myself who'd seen the video. Yeah. And just as they were about to announce us on, he ran up and, and told us to get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> who would you like to question next? OK. <laughs> um, first question, Anna, is what Johnny's saying true? <laughs> The fact that you're considering it is bad news for your story. <laughs> but... <laughs> Can you remind us of your story? Something about a mountain twice. Yes, it's my fault. He had to climb a mountain twice in one day. Which was the mountain? It's called Cat Bells. <laughs> <laughs> is there, anyone heard of a mountain go. called Cat Bells? It sounded like no. she was trying to say Catmandu and forgot the rest. <laughs> Cat. Bells. Where's... In which country? Yeah, where's yeah. Cat Bells? It's this country, my love. It's it? near Keswick it's in, in the yeah, Lake District. Yeah, it's in the Lake District. What was Johnny? Was he, like, with you on a trip? Was he your guide? Or was he, like, an ambulance person? Has it got to be one of the three? <laughs> I'm giving options. OK, well, don't go through them all. We'll be here all day. Was he a fireman? <laughs> was he a postman? <laughs> was he a friend of your cousin or your cousin's friend? <laughs> was he your Uncle Pete or your Uncle Bob or your Auntie Pauline? Or just... You could use another system. Who was he? <laughs> Who was he? 
Who was it? Johnny, uh, Johnny's my friend. Why was he and why were you, and were you going up cat bells? Because it was like an anniversary, friend group anniversary. Leave the children at home, get on, get on the bits, but earn the things and do get a bit of bit. Exercise. Get on the I'm bits and earn the things. <laughs> She's making perfect sense. Get on the bits and earn the things. What do you mean? Have you got a bang on the head? <laughs> get on the bits and earn the things, isn't it? <laughs> what? So what are you what? talking about? Yes, yeah. Lee's question. <laughs> Please answer Lee's question. We're marking um, 25 years of friendship. Right. To earn the night out. This is the exercise that you're doing to justify getting yeah. drunk later. Yeah. And you go up cat bells. Yep. Tired, nice view. Go down cat bells. Why do you make him go up again? Because I realised that I had lost my phone and presume my phone is at the top. How yeah. long does it take to get up cat bells? About two and a half hours. Good Lord. Oh. So I'm having a little, you know, episode, a weep and a cry, and Johnny uh, volunteers to go back up and get it. Right. And is that because Johnny fancies himself as Wolverine? <laughs> <laughs> is, I've not seen those films. Is he a great phone fetcher? Neither have I, but he's very Hugh Jackman. Isn't he he? Have you not seen that film, David? <laughs> Wolverine <Yeah>. phone fetcher. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, it's more that he's a very kind person and I know a few things about Johnny, so... So a yeah. mixture of goodwill and blackmail. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm hasten to add, when Johnny was in my life, in my story, he yeah. was a very generous person. <laughs> <laughs> he always went out of his way to help. Um, in my story, he's an intolerable pillock. <laughs> 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 so he goes back up to get the phone, then what happens? And then I realise the phone is on my person. <gasps> Johnny came back down, so I was so sorry I couldn't find it. And then I just said, oh dear, and kept hidden that I actually had it. And when did you come clean? <laughs> Last New Year. How did Johnny react when you told him? He was pretty good natured. He likes, a, he likes exercise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, what about um, Lee's story? So, Just remind us, Lee, what it is you're trying to convince us of. This is Johnny, and when we were at school, we both felt victim to Brian Pimento's biscuit con. Who is Brian Pimento, and what was his biscuit con? Good question. Br Brian Pimento was a kid in our school who was a few years older than me and Johnny. So how old were you at this point? 11 or 12. And what was his biscuit con? Well... He approached us in the playground and said, Hello, boys, I've hidden a biscuit. Do you want to find it? <laughs> <laughs> and, so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> he said that his dad worked for McVitie's for, as a lorry driver. Yes. And that he could get us uh, a whole tin of assorted biscuits each. Ooh. Those big Christmassy ones yeah. with three layers. Mm. And what did you have to do to get these? Well... He said, so, if your parents smoke and you can take some cigarettes from them and give them to me, I'll exchange it for two big tins of triple-stacked Christmas-assorted <laughs> biscuits. How many cigarettes did he require for those biscuits? Five each. That's a good deal. Mm. For who? For, for, I would say for you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, no, David, David yeah. let's talk. <laughs> you stole five and Johnny stole five from his... Parents? Didn't ask where he got his from. OK. <laughs> you never ask questions with these sort of things. I said to him, where'd you get your cigarettes from? And I, he went... I thought you said you never ask questions with these sort of things. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's what I learned when I said, where'd oh, you get your cigarettes from? So, this was the next day you turn... Is it? No, day? that evening. That evening? Meet us in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> nice and specific. Meet us in the woods tonight and dun, we... Dun, dun. And bring your keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> What, what happened? What, what, what happened? He came, and we thought he'd be on his own, like he was when he offered us the deal. From the bushes, three lads appeared either side of him. Oh. He took the cigarettes, he said, thank you. And then they all started laughing their heads off at us. Oh, mm -hmm. shame. And said, oh, Lee, they ain't no biscuits, son. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we need an answer. Is Johnny, Johnny's boy band buddy, Anna's unhappy hiker, or Lee's scammed schoolmate. 
What do you think? I think it's Anna's hiker. I think that's the one that has the biggest ring of truth for me. Lee's story was, you know, fine. But the thing is, you and Johnny are not the same age. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Johnny. She's being very rude to you. <laughs> I, I see a lot of myself in Anna. And I would have gone up a mountain for bits. <laughs> so I believe that side of it, and I, I think... So you I think both it's think it's Anna. Anna. What are you thinking, David? We're going to go with Anna. OK. Yeah. Right. So, Johnny, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Johnny. And Johnny and I pretended to be no! members of Take That. <laughs> yes, Johnny is Johnny's boy band buddy. Thank you very much, Johnny. <laughs> Which brings us to our final round, Quick Fire Lies. And we start with... It's... <clears throat> David. <clears throat> Once, on a family day out, I got the jitters and had to flee an owl sanctuary. <laughs> Please, T. What gave you the jitters? I... Well, I'd been asked to have a photograph of me taken uh, holding an owl. Right. Oh. Where was this? In uh, Cornwall. I'm on holiday. With your family? Yes. Oh, it was recently? Y yes. Oh, I thought you meant as a child with your parents. As uh, a fully grown man. As a fully grown man. <laughs> you as got an the adult, jitters. As adult man, I got, a, got um, the was, jitters. Was, uh, because you thought out. the owl might be a bit terrifying. Y yeah. David, can I say yeah. that if you were my partner mm -hmm. and we were at an owl sanctuary and you got the jitters yeah. and fled, you'd be toast, mate. <laughs> I simply would have no respect for you at all. <laughs> what you have to remember, Anna, is, is that there's a long journey that leads to someone choosing to marry a person like me. And part of that journey is learning to cope with a person like me. Mm. But also, yeah. to be fair, I've been to yeah. owl sanctuaries and they flap in everywhere. I mean, it's enough oh, to... Oh, yeah, they're predators. You know. I didn't know which owl they were going to put me with. Right. Some little owl, that's fine. Any trouble? But you had a great big one like a like a mini post box. Who was it who asked you for a I photo? I think it might have been the manager of the Owl Sanctuary. He wanted a photograph with TV's David Mitchell. Yes. When I, I was initially asked, you sort of think, oh, I should you should say yes, and then, but I, you know, I don't know. I don't, it's not like I want to hold an owl. I'm sure it would probably be fine, but it'd be a bit. What were stressful. you worried about? But you just, I mean, I, I thought they'll give you a big glove, and I don't. I never liked it in science at school. You were worried they, about putting the glove on. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't worried about that. I'm trying to explain, but this is like a four-clause explanation, so... Um... How many claws did it have? <laughs> <laughs> then they've gone off. They're not really, you know... I'm, I'm so, do I now have to sort of go to the reception desk and say... and ask for the photograph? To sort of go, is, is this what I said I'd get a photo? So, shall we do that? And then it might look like I'm sort of desperate to... Seeing as I'm here, will you please take a special photo <laughs> of me? I'll tell you what, sounds like a lovely, owl. relaxing day out with you. <laughs> so, did you have to say to Victoria, um, I'd be happier if we left, or did you just say, we're going? How, how did you approach I that? Think, I, I think I did it in more of a vague, pathetic way. <laughs> Let's go, we're going. Let's go to the car. <laughs> oh, I don't like that impression no, no. of you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! I want to flee the scene. <laughs> David, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. no, I mean, she just, absolutely just, hates you. Yeah, exactly, I know you. Just when I'm getting a bit of a handle on my own self-loathing, then this yeah. happens. We're taking These four. guys have been trying to build up my confidence for weeks. Four this years. is the first episode <laughs> I've spoken in. <laughs> right, let's have the voice of reason. Johnny, what do you think? <laughs> I don't think it's true. I think you're too well-mannered. I think it's true because I think David is a duplicitous person. All right. <laughs> um, what are you going to say, Lee? You've got a truth and a lie. I, I can see David doing this. They were probably on the edge of bankruptcy and they said, what we need is a celebrity to walk through the door. Then the music started and you walked in and they went, the owl sanctuary is saved. <laughs> if you can have a photo and we can put it on the website, things will change for us. But no, you fled and all those owls were put down. No, you... <laughs> I've got to go with a sensible one and say, true. You're going to say that it's true. David, was it true or was it a lie? It was true. <laughs> yes, it's true. David really did flee an owl sanctuary. Next. 
minutes. Johnny. Oh. I once spent the night in Millets after falling asleep in a tent. <laughs> David's team. <laughs> Which branch of Millets? It was up in Kendall. When was this? Five, six years ago. Five, six years ago. And what were you going to Millets for? I had a big argument with my child and my nephew. We had the camper van and I said, have you got your coat? No, yes. Have you got everything? Yes, yes. Stop being boring. We got there and they hadn't brought any warm weather gear. Not even a cagoon. I then left them. They, they, they palled off. You know the bit where you go, there's no internet, go and play. When they got playing, got talking to this family, Got about it, and the dad said to me, you go off, if it, you know what I mean? Get them some coats, they're fine with us. I went to Millet's, and there was one of them ridiculous, stupid, like, back in five minutes, we'll be open. <laughs> I won't lie, I, there was a pub opposite. Well, you might, because of the format. All right, yes, OK. <laughs> there was a pub over the road, I went to the pub. Eventually, I saw a light on. I went in, and I couldn't find the guy, and I thought, <laughs> thought... I thought I'll hide in the tent and surprise him. <laughs> Quite natural, of course. No, because I was part of me was annoyed that he'd gone so long. It wasn't yeah. like I'll be back in five minutes. Right. By the time I left the pub, <laughs> I thought jumping out of a tent was a good idea. Right. And um, I zipped it up and I just fell asleep. And when were you discovered? I set off the alarm. <laughs> Where were your, your children were still with this family you'd left them. <laughs> <laughs> they seem trustworthy. <laughs> Those is on a campsite. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you didn't... Did you know the family? We met them that day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it, his dad seemed very competent at pushing a swing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, like, abandon them. I thought I was coming back in half an hour. How long were you gone? About nine hours. <laughs> What did the family say to you when you turned up? They wouldn't <laughs> believe that I'd fallen asleep. And the fact is, the, <laughs> the thing that really... thing of it was, I set the alarm off, people turned up... Who? Uh, police and yeah. the manager, and then he wouldn't turn the till on to sell me two coats. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Um, <laughs> Martin, what are you, what are you thinking? Um, uh, you going in the pub and going into minutes and falling asleep, I can believe. The, the other family... Just going, oh, yeah, it's fine, you came back. I didn't say they said it was fine. Yeah, they, but weren't, they weren't happy with it. I think they it. would have done more. It's possible, but I'll go with lie. I, th I think it's true. You think it's true? I think. You think it's a lie? Mm. I'm going to go true. You're saying it's true? Yeah. OK, Johnny, truth or lie? Lie. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's a lie. Johnny didn't spend the night in millets. <laughs> All that noise signals time is up. It's the end of the show. I can reveal that Lee's team have won by five points to one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Good night.